We believe that all men are created equal. To the magnificent mosaic that is America. Radio beacon to radio beacon. I have a dream. Change has come to America. Believe me. Help is on the way. Knock, knock. Who's there? It's a figment of your imagination. Randy Rhodes Show. Turn up your mind. Breaking Fox News alert. The FBI has raided former President Trump's home in Mar-a-Lago. <laughs> Feds were executing a search warrant. President Trump issued a statement on the raid saying this. These are dark times for our nation, <laughs> as my beautiful home, Mar-a-Lago in Palm Beach, Florida, is currently under siege, raided. Well, I hope they didn't do any damage to those fake uh, uh, time, uh, you know, covers. <laughs> those fake t- you know, Time magazine uh, covers of Donald Trump being like man of the year. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, first, first, let me just say this. It wasn't a raid. It's a search. It was the execution of a search warrant, a duly received search warrant based on evidence presented to a federal magistrate, a federal judge that could show either through witness testimony, affidavits, uh, previously given testimony, that a crime had been committed by Donald Trump and that the evidence was at Mar-a-Lago. And it may also have been the result of a belief that was able to be told to a judge and a judge be convinced of this, that the crime was ongoing. I have no idea what the crime is. I have no idea what was in the safe I don't know. This is this is this is just so bizarre. I, I I find myself agreeing with Mike Pence today. Oh God, help me! Help me! Help! Help! I find it funny that uh, he said there specifically the FBI. Uh, Mar a Lago was under siege. The FBI siege. is that just t- tourists? It's no siege. Just well, Donald just Trump. Tourists. He's not used to having visitors at Mar a Lago that don't kiss his ass, and he's definitely not interested in visitors who are there to burn his ass, which is what they're there to do: find evidence of criminal behavior, which apparently exists because a judge. This is a very high bar. You're talking about, believe it or not, an ex-president of the United States. Yes, it's Donald Trump we're talking about, but he is an ex-president of the United States. Like it, don't like it, doesn't matter. That's who he is. That's what he is. And to convince a federal judge to allow for a a search to occur at Mar-a-Lago, first of all, let me just say this. We learned last week that the Trump attorneys were cooperating, or at least talking to, let's just say it that way, the January 6th committee. They were negotiating some damn thing. We don't know what, but the Trump attorneys, the criminal attorneys for Donald Trump were in contact with and engaged with the January 6th select committee uh, that is investigating uh, the insurrection, that is investigating a, a you know seditious conspiracy uh, to overturn the results of a free and fair election, right? To stop a congressional proceeding. Now, we've we've gone over the fact that that particular crime has a 20-year jail sentence tied to it. Okay, so the attorneys were talking to the January 6th committee. Uh, we know that when Donald Trump left the White House, he did take things. He took stuff. He took things. They're his things. And, you know, we know that later on, the National Archives had contacted Donald Trump and said, you took stuff, you took stuff and things. You took things out of the White House that are, uh, that belong to the National Archives, that belong to the American people, okay? You took all kinds of things. And uh, when, you know, when can we expect that you will, you know, because you took them mistakenly, we're sure, we're, we're 100% sure. I mean, you were, after all, uh, the President of the United States. You certainly know that the Presidential Records Act, uh, you know, uh, means something to you as a president. And so Trump said, well, let me go through it, whatever he said, and did return. He did return 15 boxes of crap that he took. And when the National Archives was going through those materials, they actually discovered that he had taken classified information. Some information, we were told by the Washington Post, who had some insight into what was in those boxes, were so classified, they were marked top secret, they were so 
uh, specific and not just eyes only, but so specific to a handful of people who had the proper clearance to see such documents that they couldn't even describe those documents to us without violating the classification rules, okay? That's how secret these documents were. So doesn't that lead you to believe it was something like launch codes or, you know, war plans or, you know, locations of spies or uh, God only knows. I mean, this is what's so creepy about, you know, General Mike Flynn. And I've mentioned this many, many times. That man still has a security clearance, okay? And that's what's so scary about him and others like him. But Donald Trump apparently returned those 15 boxes, and that's when they found out that there was stuff in there that was classified. Now, store that in your mind for a brief moment while I explain to you this. While you're president of the United States, you have the power, the awesome power, to declassify any damn thing, including launch codes. You can declassify anything. So who's to say that Donald Trump didn't declassify this material that still falls under the Presidential Records Act, but the classification of it was, uh, you know, removed from these sensitive documents before he took them home. And therefore, there would be no crime. It would just be a violation of the Presidential Records Act. Now, some pundits are out there surmising that that's exactly what this was, that it was to nab him, get him on the Presidential Records Act violations because, and they're citing the statute, it's a USC 18, right? Because everybody knows anything that starts with USC 18 is criminal, right? I've explained that to you a million times. And there's a section, I think it's, uh, you know, 2071 that has to do with uh, forfeiting the ability to hold office if you are convicted of taking things that, uh, you know, were classified or removing things that fall under the Presidential Records Act, etc. But, you know, I cannot imagine that Merrick Garland or Chris Ray, who was appointed by Donald Trump, would go to a court after all this time to get a search warrant and convince a judge that a crime is ongoing or a crime had been committed and it was of such import that they had to literally execute a warrant secretly in the morning on the same day that Richard Nixon resigned from president 48 years ago. It just, no, I just, for me, for, but for me, <laughs> that just doesn't seem like something Merrick Garland would act on. It just doesn't seem like they would go to a court to get a warrant to search an ex-president's house and be able to convince a judge, a federal magistrate, to grant that warrant to go get those things. I just, I don't know. It doesn't, does it hold water? No, it doesn't hold water. Do you know what I'm saying? So I got to think that this has something more to do with an actual violent crime an actual violent crime. And the only violent crime that's being investigated, I mean, there's tons of crap that's being investigated about Donald Trump. Why, just today, uh, we found out that an appeals court, an appeals court, D.C. Circuit Court of Appeals, which is where, you know, all the Supreme Court justices are plucked from, that is like the most, uh, you know, uh, appealsy of the appeals courts. You know, it's just uh, the most... I won't say senior because they're all co-equal, but it is just the place where we go looking for Supreme Court justices, the uh, D.C. Circuit Court of Appeals. They just ruled today that when Richard Neal, who is the chairman of the Ways and Means Committee all those years ago, I guess it was 2017 or 18, you know, asked for Donald Trump's tax returns, the appeals court said he was within bounds he was within his rights as being one of the only members of congress who could do that who could ask for donald trump's tax returns and the appeals court just gave the green light for the ways and means committee the taxation committee to get donald trump's tax returns i mean that was just today And I'm sure that when those tax returns are uh, actually poured through, you will find tax fraud there. But I don't think that this warrant had anything to do with any of those things. Don't have time to listen to the live show? Want to hear more on your schedule? Go to randyroads.com and buy a stinking podcast.